hello, hello. I want to show you a book I have here. This is a collectible. It is called Infinitesimal Calculus, and it is by Lam, Cambridge University Press. And this is a thick book. It's super old. I'm going to set it down here, and we're going to carefully take a look at this book. Let's open it up. It's signed by someone January 1898. Wow, wow. Look at that handwriting, right? Cursive with a fancy pen. Old school, right? Not like today. Not like today. Everyone uses phones and computers and, you know, cursive. I don't believe it's taught anymore. An elementary course of infinitesimal calculus. It's a pretty cool book. And here it says some more things about the book. Horace Lamb. His first name was Horace. It reminds me of uh, uh, that show uh, that I was, I was watching a show recently, kind of random, uh, called Bosch. And the guy's first name is Horatio. So uh, <laughs> it's just reminded me of that. Anyways, MAFRS, Professor of Mathematics in the Owens College, Victoria University, Manchester, formerly Fellow of Trinity College, Cambridge. Wow. Wow. And then here's, here's the copyright, 1897. I'm going to be really careful with this book because it's very, very old. Let me see if I can turn the page here. And then here's the preface. I'm going to zoom in here so we can read a little bit of the preface together so you can see what this book is about. This book attempts to teach those portions of the calculus which are of primary importance in the application to sub sub subjects as physics and engineering. Purely analytical developments and processes, however ingenious, which are seldom useful in practice, are for the most part omitted. Stress is laid on fundamental principles and an endeavor has been made to cultivate the power of applying these in simple cases. But dexterity in manipulating complicated expressions has been deemed less essential. Yeah, and you can tell that the way it's written, like if you pick up a newer book on like a, something published more recently on infinitesimal calculus, the language is very different. The language is very different in general in old books. Um, I feel like it's a step up. The writing is more advanced and uh, they use bigger words. It's just a different, different style. Here's a look at some of the contents. So you can see what it contains, all kinds of stuff, right? all kinds of mathematics. A lot of this will be familiar if you already know calculus. It's just a different approach. And here's some more topics. So it's all the stuff that you probably already have seen if you know some calculus but it's going to give you different explanations. It's infinitesimal calculus, so you're going to get a different take on it. And with a book like this, you're going to get things that you've definitely never seen before, especially because it's so old, not just because it's infinitesimal calculus, but you'll get topics that, you know, and examples that you've never seen. It even has differential equations in it. Taylor's theorem. Let's look at the, the very, very first chapter here on continuity. In every problem of the infinitesimal calculus, we have to deal with the number of magnitudes or quantities, some of which may be constant, whilst others are regarded as variable and moreover as admitting of continuous variation. Cool. Let's just flip through it a little bit more. It talks about sequences, there's some inequalities. So it definitely requires uh, some mathematical maturity. So by mathematical maturity, I mean that you want to have some exposure to mathematics. If you have some experience writing proofs, that really helps. But uh, knowing some calculus before jumping into this book, I feel it would help you greatly. I think if you don't know any calculus, it's going to be a tough read. If you already know some calculus and a little bit of advanced calculus, this will be just like a pleasure cruise. Um, sure, there'll be things that um, you don't know and you're still gonna struggle, uh, but you can see here some of the exercises. Draw graphs of the following functions. This is a lost art, right? No one likes graphing. Uh, typically, it's not something that people like doing. So nice problems here, right? Really nice exercises in this book. Now, one of the downsides to this book is that it doesn't have answers in the back of the book, so you can't really check your work. Uh, that is uh, a downside, but you can still pick this book up and spend half an hour with it and learn a great deal of mathematics. Here's some more exercises, more graphing. Some other things here, some proofs. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool stuff. And here's some more. 
some formulas, hyperbolic functions. And just again, a different, a different approach to calculus, something you've probably never seen. Um, and you can get that with a book like this. This is a thick book too. Oh, by the way, there's something in here. Let me show you, let me show you. I found something in here. Check this out, let's take a look at this. It's old school, old school. Look at that, wow. Dalton Hall, Victoria Park, Manchester. It's like, it's like risen. It's like raised on the paper. It's like, I mean, who has paper like this anymore? <laughs> I mean, right? That's like, that's pretty cool. Let's just open it up here carefully. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow. wow. Look at that. I think it says page 538, number 31. Their handwriting is uh, kind of hard to read. Looks like they're using a pen. Pretty cool, right? It's just some mathematics from the past. I mean, who knows when this was written, right? This, this could have been in the 1800s. This, this piece of paper could be from the 1800s. I just got to give it a whiff. Oh, wow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and close it up. I'm going to put it back uh, here in the book. And I got to give the book a whiff, too. I just got to get a bit of a little smell here because these are just moments where, oh, wow, wow, wow. Here's some integrals. Wow. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Take your integration to the next level by working these out. Yeah, I mean, so old, right? What a piece of history. I'm gonna go ahead and just close this book up here. Oh, curvature. Yeah, tons of stuff. It does have an index too, let me just show you. So if you're looking stuff up, uh, you can find uh, stuff in the back of the book. But it doesn't have, it doesn't seem to have answers unfortunately, to any of the exercises, which is uh, an unfortunate uh, thing. This is considered a classic, though. It is a well-known book. Um, it's famous, and it's a thick book. So if you're trying to learn infinitesimal calculus, I think it's one worth getting. If you collect math books, then definitely one worth getting. I am pretty sure it's out of print, but I will try to leave some links in the description of this video in case you want to get some used copies. Obviously, this copy is very, very used. It was from 18, 1898, right? That's when it's signed, January 1898. And then 1897, this one's from 1897. Wow, wow, crazy, right? I wonder who that person is, right? Looks like J.W. Graham. I don't know who that could be. I don't know. In any case, uh, yeah, hopefully you've gotten something out of this video. If you take away anything from this video, it should be that this is a book on infinitesimal calculus that you can use to learn infinitesimal calculus. It doesn't have answers to the exercises, but it is considered a classic. So I just wanted to make this quick video to show you. If you want to learn calculus or algebra or differential equations or abstract algebra or advanced calculus, etc., I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but if you decide to get my courses, please use the links on my website as it helps me greatly. Uh, just go there and then I've got courses and you can learn. Also, if you're not a subscriber, feel free to hit subscribe if you feel like you found any value in this content, but it's got to give it a whiff one more time here. Just, oh, so nice, so nice. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.